All right, let's next talk about the inflate deformer. Now, what was one thing I should mention is under the tool menu, if you go all the way down here to the deformation submenu, you're gonna see a lot of these deformers are also in here. In fact, here's the inflate deformer. You can inflate along the X, Y, and Z axis, or you can just choose you wanna inflate along the Y axis, and you can inflate that way as well. Generally speaking, you're probably gonna have all these on, and you're just gonna inflate along those surface normals like a balloon. Now, if you go into the deformer menu here, and you choose inflate, that's gonna put a bounding box around your object here, and you can choose to inflate from just one axis here, and you can go top and bottom, and you can either inflate or you can deflate. And you're gonna see as we inflate here, we're getting a nice smooth transition here. If you want to change that smoothness, all you gotta do is go grab the smooth slider and you can change it from 100% smooth, which gives you, an, again, nice soft transitions, all the way down to one, and this will give you a little bit harder transition area here. So you can choose which angle you want to inflate or deflate along, how smooth that transition is going to be. And again, you can hold down shift. Uh, it looks like this one you can't hold down shift, but you can snap to zero. You can also do this across X, Y, or Z axis, just like you can in the regular deformer. So if I want to do it across the Y axis, I can set this to one. And now when I deform or inflate this top one here, it's also going to inflate that bottom one. And just like the deformer deformer, you can either do mirrored, you're going to see this... Uh, bottom Y cone matches this one, so we're inflating this top one and deflating this bottom one, or we can go, I'm sorry, parallel is going to inflate and then deflate the bottom because the cones are pointing in the same direction. So if I go back here, we undo that and we set that back. We're inflating here, and then because this is parallel, it's pulling this cone in and it's doing a deflation. However, if we set this to mirror, now when we inflate this top, it's going to inflate that bottom as well. Of course you can do this along any axis, so we can pull from the X and it'll deflate along here, inflate along that axis, or we can go to full mirror and then inflate in the X axis. If you put both of these on in mirror, now when you just pull one it'll go ahead and inflate across all axes. So let's go ahead and drop those back down to zero, and now again you can play with any of these inflations or deflations and kind of get the inflate deformation that you're looking for. And I'll always encourage you, if you have a comic key, go into your tool menu here and grab any other object, hit W, and all these deformers we're talking about, feel free to go in here and we'll try and inflate on this dog, and you can see what kind of effects you can get just being able to inflate arbitrary meshes from certain angles and changing the smoothness of the mirrored axes or whatever you need to do to get that look you're going for here. And also remember you can deflate as well. So you can deflate from the top or the bottom or inflate from the top or the bottom and get all sorts of good good results, not only on organic meshes, but hard surface meshes as well. One other thing I should mention, and this goes to all deformers here, any the way your gizmo is oriented is gonna determine how your deformer interacts with your object. So for example, if we go over here back to our inflate, you're gonna see we're inflating from this side perfectly and this top side perfectly because our bounding box matches our cube perfectly. However, if I hit W and I hold down Alt and I go ahead and rotate this, you can hold down Shift and you can snap it. Let's snap this to say 45. So now you have a 45 degree angle here. If I go back into our gizmo here and then we do an inflate, you're gonna see my deformations have been offset by 45 degrees. So now I can do this corner here or I can deflate this corner here. So you're getting a much different result than if your gizmo was set to your rolled axis. Now, if you do want to reset this, just go back into your gizmo by hitting W. And if your gizmo is ever over here, all you got to do is hold down Alt, go to Unmash Mesh Center, and then hold down Alt and go to Reset Orientation. And that'll reset your orientation back so you can manipulate your deformers in a very precise way. Again, all based on holding down Alt and moving your gizmo or orienting your gizmo along these axes here before going into your deformer.